Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video because I am collabing with my good friend, Monica. And what is your channel name again? Beauty Like a Boss. Beauty Like a Boss. I will <laughs> tag her channel name in my description box down below. And I will also put in her um, video because we did a video on her channel about her top our top five favorite drugstore yeah. products. We and just now, filmed it. Yeah, we just filmed it. Back to back video. <laughs> and now we're doing the top five high end stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm super, super excited for you guys to watch this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And please leave me suggestions down below about what kind of videos you guys want to see next. And also in the comments, tell us your favorite high end products. Yes. And give us recommendations on other things that we could try as well. So thank you so much for watching our video, and let's get on. So I'm gonna go in order for like how I do my makeup, just like she did um, on my channel, because I'm weird. <laughs> so the first item I'm talking about is the Bobbi Brown Under Eye Corrector, and I don't know about you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell in videos, but like my under eyes, like it literally looks like I got punched in the face if I do my foundation and don't put corrector underneath my eyes. Like it looks brutal under there. So I have to have to have to put a corrector underneath to make sure when I do the concealing, um, all the darkness is gone. I don't want my under eyes to look ashy. So therefore I always, always use a corrector and I always use a corrector on my clients just because it just makes such a big difference. Like. I don't know, it, for me, it's like a game changer. So this one is my favorite, and I've used this color, which is light to medium bisque, for years. Like, this has been like my ride or die shade and product forever. Like, I'm talking back in the day at middle school. Yeah, and she doesn't shut up about it. I don't, because it's so good. Have you tried it yet? I still haven't, even though you tell me every time. It's so good. I tell all my clients, <laughs> get this product it's so good so i would definitely recommend this to everybody um so yeah similar thing uh, my first product is the becca shimmering skin perfector i have it in moonstone and i get it in the little trial baby size because i find that i only use like enough to go through one of these in my lifetime mm -hmm. and i love this for a couple different things my first one is I love mixing it with a foundation because you're going to get that luminous mm, glow with yes. it. My mm. second thing is you can use it as a liquid highlighter as well. Mm. And it's gorgeous. And I love the Moonstone color. That's probably my favorite out of, other than Champagne Pop, this is my favorite out of mm. all of the like Becca Shimmering Skin line, their line of their highlighters. Mm -hmm. And it's just so nice to put in foundation because you just glow. And I love it. It also makes your foundation a little less... Um, I don't know, it's just like lighter. It's perfect for the spring, mm -hmm. summertime, and it's just one of my favorite products. Awesome. My next product that I absolutely love. I almost included this. Did you this, really? I, this was like my I'm number actually, six. I'm actually surprised you didn't include it. I know, it, was, it would have been my number six. Yeah. Well, I love this stuff. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I remember when this stuff was so, so, so hyped up on YouTube, and I was like, Oh my goodness, I need to jump on the bandwagon <laughs> and I went out and bought it. It is actually really ironic because I returned it like two days after I bought it because I hated it. Did I ever tell you that? No, I didn't I know this. I hated this stuff. I was like, oh my god. This stuff, like, it's so, it literally creased like an ugly crease mess. Like, it was horrible. I was like, this stuff sucks. So I returned it and I was like, this is so disappointing. Um, and then I just remember, like, like, I remember watching a video from Ariel doing Kylie Jenner's makeup, and he was using this, and it looked so nice on her, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll give it another try. So I went out and bought it again, and I was like, okay, I'm going to just play around with it and see what I could do. And the only, so this is radiant, so I find that if I don't set it enough with powder, it can look oily, and it can also crease. So the best way I found to wear this is by baking it with a uh, beauty blender with like a translucent powder. I use the Laura Mercier and it looks flawless. Like it lasts all day. It gives myself a radiant glow. Like I look more alive underneath my eyes and I love the color selection that they have. They have amazing colors for anybody from the lightest to like the deepest of skin coloring. It's just and overall a really really good product so yeah I really love this yeah one. I like it yeah okay so my next one is my favorite foundation 
Um, it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Who doesn't love this product? Mm -hmm. I'm currently Y245 because I'm hoping, I'm like telling myself it's summer even though I'm not very tan yet, mm -hmm. but I, I love this foundation. I have very sensitive skin that's very um, problematic and flares up and this is one of the only ones that I found that does not break me out, that does not hurt my skin, and that does not leave me super red because I have issues with that too. It, my only issue is, is with my old one, it like ran out of pumps, but I like couldn't open up the bottle to get the rest of the makeup out. And mm. I wish I could have. Like I feel like there was a lot of wasted product yeah. in the actual packaging because I couldn't like open it up. Like you mm. can't like, well like you can't like go like that, which is kind of eh, because you're paying like forty six dollars for like one fluid out. So yeah, that's a bummer. But this next product has to be like, if I could only choose one product it would like have to be this one that is like my all-time favorite i can't i like i won't do my makeup if i don't have it like it that's how good this stuff is and this is the nars um pro prime smudge proof eyeshadow base this is the eyeshadow primer this stuff is so good i can't even begin i've tried so many eye primers you guys like that's like the one thing that I've tried so many of. This stuff was the only thing that worked for me just because I have really, really oily eyelids. Um, and I found nothing that could actually like, because everything made my eyeshadow more vibrant. I will say that. But like even with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, my eyeshadow would crease. Like it would crease after like four hours. And like I remember coming home from school and like I would put on eyeshadow in the morning. I would come home and it would be a creasy mess. And because, yeah, I know it sucked. sucked. This stuff, honestly, is the best. It makes the eyeshadow super vibrant. It dries matte, so you do and it doesn't dry tacky either, like some eye primers do. It's very, very smooth when you, like, wipe your finger over it. If you're, like, to blend out, um, if you were to rub, like, a cream shadow on, it's very easy to blend it on this base. Um, and it lasts, it literally has lasted me, like, like a full day, like, full day of working and like full day of being up like this stuff doesn't come off doesn't crease it's awesome i love this stuff it is expensive but in my opinion 100 percent worth it Anything? i'm gonna go in i'm gonna do brows then eyes so i love the anastasia blonde brow powder duo i find that the brow is in taupe is too dark for me i have major issues because i have really light yeah. eyebrows and so i find that the lightest shade in this the like because it's half and half the lighter shade, mm -hmm. I have like a dent in because I use it all the time for my brows. It's the perfect color for me and it's just a really good brow powder. It's the only one I can find that's light enough for me. So if you know of any good like blonde eyebrow powders, let me know because this is still even a tiny bit dark and a little bit orange for me. Like every single brow powder that I try for blondes is too orange and too dark. And I just can't find one that, like, looks good on my eyebrows. My eyebrows have gotten a little bit darker since I, like, started using this, which is good because now they match it better. But, like, before they were white and I was like, mm, can't ever use an eyebrow powder because they're too blonde. But I like this one. It's good. It's the lightest one I've found. So, yeah, that I mean, really out of, like, necessity and out of it being the only option. It's one of my top five. Yeah. This is the Bobbi Brown Everything Black Mascara, and this, like, I was deciding between this and the Too Faced because I love the Too Faced one, Sneak which peek. is her favorite, <laughs> but, I mean, the Too Faced one is so good, like, I highly, highly, highly recommend it, it's just I had to go with this one because, I'm not kidding you guys, this has been my ride or die favorite mascara since the, I want to say, 7th, 8th grade, like, five years I've been using this mascara and I've gone through tubes and tubes and tubes of this stuff. It never, never, never clumps my eyelashes. It makes them super full, super black. Um, it just lengthens them. It literally, it, it is the title of the mascara. Everything mascara. It does everything you could ever ask for a mascara to do for your eyelashes. It's so great. And I just, I just love this mascara. The only downfall about this is that they changed their packaging so it's now um a lot small like it it honestly like it's almost the same size as a travel mascara that's how small it is now it is it's yeah really tiny. it's tiny there is only um 0 0.17 ounces in this yeah and this is 0 0.27 so this is almost double yeah, the product so, this two-faced one yeah so unfortunately they they 
decided to keep the price of their mascara but make it smaller which is really, really annoying in my opinion, yeah. but like, I'm still gonna purchase it because especially, it's so great. Yeah, and especially because mascara is one of those things that you go through rather quickly. Like, it blows, but like, I'm still gonna repurchase it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, um, so I have, should I go with my mask? I'm gonna go with my mascara yeah, next it. because you did it. So I have the Too Faced Vitamin Sex mascara in the pink tube. I love this stuff. I don't use I hate this. hate the name, but everything else is great. <laughs> I love this stuff. I don't use this every single day, I would say. I use, but usually the Benefit Roller Lash for an everyday look, but for any time you're going out, any time you want your lashes to look dramatic, amplified, like, giant. Basically false eyelashes yeah, is all the hassle. Basically. Like, basically false Especially eyelashes. if you want to blend your eyelashes with your false eyelashes, mm -hmm. I find this is really helpful because it almost makes them look similar. Amps it up. Amps it up. I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's great. Last product. Last product would have Last to be product. Everybody's Woo! holy grail product of life. Yep. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Mm -hmm. This stuff is life. I I heard that this is actually hairspray, but it's like the same exact ingredients as hairspray, but minus two ingredients that are made more directly for the face. Um, and that's why it sticks on like hairspray. Like it is so good. The good thing is it isn't sticky because I used to do plays and stuff and we had to use actual hairspray on our makeup sometimes and that would leave your face so sticky where you this doesn't do that at all. Yeah, it hairspray was awful. I hated, I hated that part. When I, this stuff does not do that. It doesn't leave your face sticky at all. It just kind of mists you. It's like, it's kind of like refreshing because it's cold, but then it dries and you don't feel sticky. Your face doesn't feel tight at all. It feels very like just normal. Um, but one thing I love about this is that it literally does stay on forever. And I use this on my clients, and this is the number one thing I will get texts back from my clients saying, hey, what was that hairspray stuff you used on my face? And I always say, this stuff is bomb, get it now. And everybody, all my clients love it. Like, I've had, I've had adults tell me it takes them two makeup wipes to get off all their makeup because this stuff sticks on so well. Yeah. So... I love this stuff. For my final product, I have a little eye palette. This is the Naked Basics Original. Mine's all messed gotcha. up. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> yeah, but I love this palette. And my favorite color in the whole thing, which is like the color that I use almost every time I do my eye makeup, I use this as my transition color. It's the Naked 2 in here, which I have the biggest dent. Can you see that dent in it? Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, an, like a, that. Like, yeah. it's like a little boat in there. Um, I also love... The WOS color, if you feel like your eye makeup's too dark, you can just take a layer of that and pop it on mm -hmm. over and it will lighten everything up. The Venus color is great for highlighting. You get a black in here, which is always a must-have, and you get a darker brown color too. You can do a whole eye look with this. I use it to supplement any colors I'm doing. Like today I have Naked 2 on and I have Venus on or supplement any other eye palette I'm using. I just always throw this in and I'm usually using at least one color of this palette. It's travel it's such, friendly too. It's so travel friendly and it's such a good basic palette to have. If you're starting off and you want to really get into makeup, I would recommend this plus like a colorful eyeshadow palette because then you'll kind of have like the basics that you can use plus you'll have like other colorful like eyeshadows. Some, some are shimmery with. too. Yeah. But this is just a great like standard basic thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed my friend monica being here on my channel and if you guys want more videos of us doing um tags together or like more yeah. makeup videos together any kind of video together um let me know leave it down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel um, and I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.